guys, it is happening. This whole journey begins right now. As we speak, I am in the airport at Baltimore, Maryland, and it is currently like 10-ish o'clock p.m. right now. In approximately two hours, we're gonna be boarding our flight to Iceland. This is probably gonna be the craziest journey I've ever been a part of, and you guys get to come with me. There's just gonna be a lot of fishing, a lot of cool exploring. Just, this is gonna be so awesome. So fun fact, I've never flown out of the country. I mean, I've been out of the country, but never by flight, and this flight is approximately six-ish hours long. Flying on Wild Flight 18 to Iceland, we're not in Valentine's or All right, guys, so we've just made it here to the city of Reykjavik, Reykjavik, something like that, Iceland. So my girlfriend Kelsey and I actually met my sister and her husband over here. They were doing a little something over here in Iceland, and we are going to be camping. Not today, we're actually at an Airbnb right now, but this car right behind me, we are going to be camping for, I think, 10 days here. We're going to be going around the whole country, the whole island. It's just, this is gonna be so crazy. Pretty much this car behind me we just rented. There is a tent on the top of the car and there's actually one that we're gonna be putting on the ground. Later today in the city, we're gonna go try and find some fishing gear to rent. I'm gonna try to rent a fly rod and a spinning rod. So like everywhere we go around, I'm gonna get a little lake pass that lets me like fish in all these lakes. Fishing here is supposed to be really, really good. Yeah, I'm just excited, man. Hopefully we can get on some freaking new species. Hopefully we can get on some giant, giant fish. It's just gonna be an awesome experience. It's so cool I get to bring you guys along with me. All right, let me get inside, man. It is freaking cold out here. Right now we are on the top of this really, really high, tall church. I have no clue what it's called. Look at this view real quick. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Jason. So we were just in the little tackle shop over here. Pretty much I rented some equipment. I have this little spinning setup right here. We also got this fly rod and we got some waders in here. We got some flies. I have some spinners that I brought. I also got a fishing card that uh, pretty much we're gonna be going around, as I said, camping at different places. This fishing card lets me fish at like 34 lakes across the country. This is like completely unguided. I have no clue if I'm actually going to catch any fish or not. This should be fun, man. Let me show you guys real quick some stuff. So pretty much I just picked up some leader. This is the uh, little reel. That's the waders in there. And these are the flies that I got. We just got some streamers and some nymphs and caddis, I'm pretty sure. That's what's hatching right now. Yeah, man, this dude hopefully hooked me up and put me on some good stuff. I really have no clue what I'm doing, but it should be fun to go around these lakes and just fish. Not really knowing what you're doing, you know? You don't always have to have a guide when you go out. Sometimes it's just the experience, you know? So far, a few observations. Everything here is expensive as crap, and I can literally not read anything. Like, look at the sign real quick. So we've been walking around. Crepes were just a thing. Now we're near this thing where people, like, stack a bunch of rocks together. I don't know, man. Iceland has been pretty interesting so far. I mean, puffins are a big thing. Like, there's so much puffin merch. If you guys don't know what a puffin is, it looks a little something like this. I probably got, like, an hour of sleep, if that, on the plane. Um, so I pretty much am going like a whole, I don't know how many hours this is without sleep. But look at this spot, man. I wish I had my rod with me right here. Dude, this water is so, so clear. Iceland is like, like look at this, man. It's just freaking beautiful. And you got this cool looking building right there. All right, y'all, we are back at the Airbnb now. As I said, we're only staying here one night. I'm exhausted. I had like one hour of sleep within the past, I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day two, everything is jam-packed, the journey begins. So let me just explain a little bit better. Basically, we were taking this SUV, and for 10 days, we were gonna be road tripping and camping around the whole country, around the whole island of Iceland. We had purchased a camping card, which basically let us stay at various campgrounds around the country. I had my fishing card, my fishing gear, and pretty much we were just setting off on an adventure. The goal was to explore the country, see amazing things, and of course, catch some fish. The real adventure starts right here.
All right, so we're a little bit into the road trip right now. We stopped at a gas station, got to fill up a little bit, just cause you know, you never know when you're gonna get the next gas station opportunity, but just look at this behind us, man. This is like what you look at over here in Iceland when you're trying to get gas. Hey. So as we were driving along, we're just driving along the road here to our first camping spot, our first little destination. We just stopping at anything that looks cool and just, this giant waterfall, man. You, like, you don't see this where we're from. You don't see that in Delaware. This is so freaking cool, man. Kelsey, Kelsey, look at that. Look at that. Kelsey, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So we're pretty much just like, we stopped on the side of the road. We're just stopping wherever, really. And this just looks so freaking sick. It's crazy to think that those are all like melting snow, melting ice coming down into this little creek right here. You actually drink this water. I think it's pretty clear. I mean, it's just coming from the snow. The ice. So two people that are actually on this adventure with me and Kelsey are my sister Rebecca and her husband Jason. They're gonna be with us on this little thing that we're doing here in ice. This is just like the first day of the actual adventure too, the travel day. Hey! Dude, can I just say like, this isn't even like a full day one yet. We're gonna do eight days of that. That's amazing. And we're not gonna be like staying in like, in like, you know, hostels and hotels and stuff. We're, we're gonna be camping. in Icelandic wilderness for eight days. That's the coolest freaking thing in the world to me. Guys, is this even real? What in the heck? Mind you guys, it's literally summer here in Iceland. Look at this. Look at this. It's Icelandic. This is Icelandic snow. That is sketchy. Oh my gosh. He's literally skating down, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so we've been driving around a little bit more, kind of exploring, making our way to the campsite still. We stopped at like a bunch of freaking places, but look at this. There's like stairs that go up to this like crater thing up here. I guess it used to be a volcano and it exploded. Dude, freaking tired. I feel like I'm on Pride Rock right now. I feel like I need like a little baby lion to hold up. This is literally overlooking like, I feel like I can see out for miles. Isn't that pretty cool though that this like, this was a volcano and at one point it like exploded. Like that's just so cool to me. Okay guys, so it is extremely, extremely windy right now. We just stopped at this little uh, lake type thing. I'm just gonna try to throw the spinner around a little bit, see what happens. Oh my gosh, it is like really windy. Oh, pretty much I'm just throwing a 1 fourth ounce spinner right now. And wow, scenery is beautiful, but this is just crazy. How crazy would that be if we caught something in this wind right now? This water is literally like crystal clear. The spinner looks real good going through it. Come on, there's gotta be something. Right Oh my gosh, I got a fish. Guys, holy crap. Oh my gosh. Guys, I caught a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come here, come here, come here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. First fish of the whole trip right here. Oh my gosh. I think this is an Arctic char. Oh my goodness, guys. Holy. Cool. Cool. Please tell me I'm recording. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Guys, there we go. First fish of the entire trip right here. Woo! This is like absolutely ridiculous. The orange on his freaking butt. Oh my gosh. You probably won't be able to hear me right now, but there's a spinner in his mouth. This is freaking beautiful. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Let's take one more. Just like a face like that. What do you think that is? Like? All right, guys, here you go. This is a nice look. I just washed him off. Look at these beautiful, like look at the colors on the underside. This is like, Crazy! I did not expect to catch a fish. That was pretty, pretty quick into this fishing session. Here he or she goes. Oh my gosh! Beautiful, beautiful first fish in Iceland. I am literally so happy right now. You guys can see like mountains in the back. The 
wind is raging today. I didn't think I had a chance. We're right under that bridge right there. Oh, there he goes. Whew, that is a freaking beauty right there, guys. Oh my gosh, going right back into the water. Oh, this water is so freaking clear. I cannot believe I, oh my gosh, this is like unreal. So basically what's going on, I came over here to under this bridge. This is uh, pretty much the only place I could find where I could really escape and get out of the wind. It's right under here and I was just tossing this little Thomas EP series, one fourth of an ounce spinner. And I mean, that was, well, that, that was barely into this fishing session. I mean, that was one of my first casts right under this bridge. So I'm gonna throw it here a few more times. See if we can get anything else, but oh my goodness, guys. Whew! This is this is life right here, man. We are freaking living. Alright, let's see if we can do anything else. Now I'm pretty sure that was an Arctic char. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to check back up. But I am pretty, pretty sure. And the other thing is too, I mean I researched and I'm pretty sure those fish really do like a fast moving current. So the fact that he was, I mean, right where he should be. And they do hit spinners, that's another thing I read too. Now there are all types of fish in here. I mean, in this specific body of water, there should be salmon and a couple different kinds of trout. But man, that char, holy crap. First char, I mean, I think it's a char I'm saying that, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's the first char I've ever caught. And that was a freaking beauty, man. That just made this whole trip. Honestly, it made the whole trip already. This is the first day of actually fishing, the first spot of actually fishing. And that fish just like, like, it is so freaking freezing because of this wind right now, but I, I, I don't even care. I, I'm warm. I'm just <laughs> freaking pumped. Whew. All right, let's see if there's anything else, because we do want to do some more exploring today, too. And the other thing is, like, I, as I said before, guys, pretty much we're camping around the whole entire island, the whole entire country of Iceland, and I have access to th over 30 lakes and just what bodies of water. It's going to be nuts. So the fact that this is the first one, we're already catching a freaking fish, dude. I'm like so excited. Oh, <gasps> I just saw him eat it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just caught, I saw him come up and swipe at that. This water is so clear. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That's a nice fish. That's another one. Oh my goodness, dude, you see him right there? Yeah. Dude, look how clear that water is. Yeah, you can see him. Oh, please don't come off. Dude, I saw him, you see how clear the water is? I, I saw him dude, come up. Dude, better than the last one. This is a, f oh my God, this is like a tank. Holy crap. Please don't come off. Dude, that's bigger than the last one. That is a freaking fish right there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh Holy sh**. That's like a tr oh. oh no, did he come off? Oh no, he Dang, he came off. off. Holy crap. That was so That big. was so fat. <laughs> oh, that's all good. I, at least we saw him. Oh my God. You could see him clear as day too. Like right there. That sucks because it, it got it's like, like caught. Right on the back too. It got oh. caught on the grass. Oh my God. That's that was crazy. I saw him swallow it and turn. Dude, he had to have been like this far around. That was a fat, fat, fat. That, that was like, oh my God, that thing was huge. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> I'm just fishing this current break. Oh my gosh. I wish I could have seen that guy up close and held him. Dang, man. You wanna know this well?